Hello Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for today, I want to share with you another Christmas gift idea. Scented candles are good gifts to give out to friends. To add a little interest to your gift, you can make a candle lid from your polymer clay slab. As I will be using mostly white, I was very thorough in cleaning my mat. I usually spritz a bit of alcohol and wipe the mat down. First, get your scented candle. Then, get a circular cutter that will fit the inside of the candle holder. You will also need different hues of white. I'm sharing a link above to the white color recipes that I shared last week. You will also need a tissue blade, a detail needle, and a roller. First, let us condition our main slab. I wanted to use the white mixed with gray granite to give a little bit of differentiation from the other white colors. Roll this out into the number 3 setting. Once it is rolled out, get the circular cutter and trace the inside shape using the detail needle. Then, clean the edges with your fingertips. You can see here that I used my tissue blade to lift the circle from the mat. Just slide the blade at an angle to make sure that you are able to lift the circle without distorting the shape. I continue to clean the edges just to save on sanding time. This now goes to the oven for baking. Let's clean the mat again and get the white with the gray granite and pass it through the roller in the number 3 setting again. Then, get the candle holder and trace the circle to the clay using the detail needle. Then, get a different shade of white and condition it before putting it into the extruder. I used the plate with the smallest hole and cranked my extruder to get a very thin log. I set this aside and then got a teardrop shaped plate. I cranked my extruder to get this tapered log that will be the leaves. I carefully lift the circle and flip it over to get the flatter side. I also get my leaf cutters. Then, I first place my logs. Once it is positioned, I use a blade to cut thin leaves from the tapered log. Then, I get my detail needle to press down each leaf on each side of the log. I will just show you how I did one whole log. 
but I will speed through the whole process because it is quite repetitive. Now, place the logs across the circle into the same steps to cover the slab with leaves. And through the magic of editing, our slab is now covered. Now let's do the next layer of leaves. Roll out the pearlescent white in the number 6 setting. Then let's use the curved leaf cutter. Place it randomly on the slab. Drag the detail needle across the leaf. Then use a small blade to make the veins of the leaf. Repeat this for the other leaves. And for further shine, add some white mica. Normally, when I layer my slab, I stick to one shape first before adding a different shape. And for the final leaf, use the white with a little bit of blue. Lift each leaf carefully using the blade. Once you've positioned the leaf, draw the center vein with a detail needle and the side veins with a tissue blade.
And for the finale, I wanted to add a center handle that one can grip to lift the lid up. I chose this bunny silicone mold. I attached it to the center of the slab using liquid clay. I added a little more detail to the bunny using my detail needle. Then, I brushed the bunny with some mica. To lift the circle, I used my tissue blade. This now went into the oven to be baked. After about 15 minutes of baking, I took the two pieces out and attached the plain sides together using liquid Sculpey. Then I bake this again using the remaining time. You can glaze the entire lid or leave it as it is. And there we have it, a custom lid for your candle votive. I really love the bunny that I added at the center because it does help lift the lid up. I hope that this inspired you to make your Christmas gifts. If you liked this video, I hope that you consider giving a little love by clicking on the like button. If you haven't yet, do consider subscribing to the craft time studio have a crafty weekend bye